Prior to the Second World War, the Japanese militarists had occupied northeast China and established the puppet state of Manchu Kuo. In order to expand their greater East Asia empire, the Japanese did much preparatory work. Some of their least known activities were the experiments on bacterial weapons by the Manchurian 731 squadron. This squadron had many subsections. They were Helia, Sanwu, Lin Gao, Mu Danjiang, and the Anda Rural Experimental Station. The headquarters of the 731 was situated in the Ping Fang district of Harbin. It covered a large area of land and the existence of the headquarters was highly classified, surrounded by high-tension electric fences. Inside, there were extensive facilities, an animal breeding unit, a crematorium, a pathology laboratory, a jail, an electrical generating plant, the commandant's office, and other facilities for various experimental projects. In February 1945, the Japanese forces were suffering heavy losses on all fronts. In an effort to win the war using biological warfare, the military headquarters reinstated a Lieutenant General Ishishiro, a medical doctor, to be the 731 squadron commander. Yet the same person had previously been relieved of this post on charges of corruption. At the same time, a group of young soldiers were sent to Harbin as new recruits to the squadron. I wonder when they'll come and pick us up. I'm freezing. Captain Takahara's gone to Bai Hua Lao. He said to collect our new sergeant. He's been gone almost an hour. Where is he? Why aren't we allowed to go to Bai Hua Liao? This place is freezing cold. It's as bad as Chiba Prefecture. I think this is much colder than Chiba. Right, Ishikawa? It really makes no difference to me. We're not going home anyway. We're stuck here. Ha! Look at him. It's only been a few days and Ishikawa already misses home. Ishikawa's just a mama's boy. He even broke down and cried when she said goodbye to him. You cried as well, didn't you? No, I didn't. Only my mother and my sister did. Yeah, my mum cried too. Although I didn't cry when I left, I still felt very bad. It's because my father died here in action. So did my father. So did my father and brother. They were both killed here fighting in China. Here, try this. Go on. Huh? Huh? This kind of rice cake's hard to get even in Japan. Yeah. Don't you know that?
He's so strange. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Ishii's just arrived at headquarters. Would you please? It's okay. I'm coming. Yes, sir. Ishikawa, here, catch. Dr. Ishii. General Kikuchi. General. <laughs> Ishii, old friend. You still look the same. You haven't changed at all since I saw you last. Same old 731 Ishii. Dr. Ishii is back. Let's welcome him in the normal way. Benjamin! Dr. Ishii's returned to the Corps. Yeah, that's right. He just arrived today. I'm surprised they sent him back. Here, catch. Get it. You idiot! <laughs> now listen up. I'm your new section head. My name is Sergeant Kawasaki. Now you're in the Kwantung Army. You're all members of the 731 Squadron Youth Corps. Do you understand? Heads! Now, if you get a chance to go to Harbin, whether you're on leave or a day off, you must change into your civilian clothes. When you return, you must remember to put your uniforms back on at Bai Hua Liao. If you meet other Japanese or get stopped, you mustn't reveal your attachment to this squadron. Is that clear? Sir! <laughs> Well, it's almost three years now since 1942. I'm glad you're back with us, to a brother's reunion. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, General. <sighs> Gentlemen! <laughs> Although I've been away from the squadron for the last couple of years, I've followed the research that's been done, so I'm up to date. Now, with reference to the research that Mr. Kitano's been doing, I believe that he's focused too much on the theory. I think that what we need most is to increase the quantity and quality of the bacteria. We have to use them in this war to speed the victory of the Japanese Empire. So, gentlemen, let's drink a toast. Victory. And, gentlemen, I would like to propose a toast to Dr. Ishii to welcome him back here to the 731 Squadron. To victory! Victory! Excuse me, sir. Lieutenant General, sir. Lieutenant Ono, military police. Reporting for duty from the Kwangtung Army. Command office. That's right. I'm just Lieutenant General. I could have been a full general a long time ago. If it wasn't for those fools at military headquarters who say army doctors can't go higher than Lieutenant General, they're ridiculous. Not one of them recognizes our worth. Well now, Lieutenant, go on. Why don't you go and report me to the military command? I've just voiced a criticism of the general staff. Hmm. Go on. Hold it. Do you have no respect for your seniors? Hoshino, let's forget about this. If they find us, we'll be in trouble. No, I'm not gonna forget it. My brother gave me that ball when I left Japan. 
I must get it back. Get on your feet! <laughs> Ishikawa and Hisino. I don't know, sir. I don't know either, sir. You don't know? Where are they? I don't know. That showed a total lack of discipline. Nothing like this must ever happen again. The training of the youth corps is important. 
Not only because we're short of staff, it's mainly because what we require here are people of the highest integrity and loyalty. Headquarters only recognizes the importance of bacterial weapons in this war. They fail to realize that biological and chemical weapons are also very important. They'll affect the outcome of this war and the future of Japan. I believe they'll play a crucial role, so we have to speed up these experiments. Sir! Sir. That incident with Hoshino was really unexpected. Security and discipline must be stepped up. It's late. I'd better leave you two. Thank you, sir. Right. Let's go. Good night, sir. Brother, please sit down. Mm. So, Shiro, what's happening back in Chiba? Hmm. There's a shortage of everything. People have suffered a lot in the last couple of years, but the family's managing. Mm. I see. Well, brother, I think we can only do our best under the circumstances. Now then, how's everything here? For instance, what about the men's morale? It's all right. The men don't really complain. Oh, yes, we managed to find out about that incident, which got you relieved. It was due to an informer. You were right. It's Colonel Nakatomi, the idiot. He even ridiculed the effectiveness of your water purifier. He did. Did he? Damn, Nakatomi. Attention! Lieutenant Colonel Nakatomi, if you're here, indicate. Present! She would like you to... Uh... Please forgive me, sir. Oh. Kawasaki, any absentees? Unfortunately, sir, Hashino had an accident last night. Hmm. Kawasaki, I want you to treat these youngsters well. The youth corps is important. Thank you. Sir! Hashino was electrocuted by his own hand. And now all of you are behaving like a bunch of schoolgirls. Idiots! What kind of soldiers are you? Stop acting like kids. You want to gain honor for Chiba? Then you must start acting like real men. Close up. Attention! Down! Prone position, crawl! Come on, move it, move it! Come on, move! Move it! Speed it up! 
Come on, move! And you, hurry! Come on! Move! Hurry up! Go on! Hurry! Go on! Hurry up! Hurry up! Quickly! Move! Come on, you! Move it! Move! Here! Over here! Come on! Hurry! Oh! Hey, move! Everyone up! Come on! On your feet! I said, everyone up! Come on! Me do too! You know, I just heard, there's a rumor going around that the fighting's very heavy on the southern front. A whole army could be wiped out. It sounds very serious. There's no other way. We've got to speed up these experiments. More. Biological weapons are the only way that we win the war. Hey, what did he say? It sounds like Japan will be finished soon. Keep moving! I'm a police, a police, No, sir, please give it back to me. Please give it, give it back to me. The doctor said that we should conserve the Maruta. This one can be stuffed and mounted. It won't be wasted. This is real tough, but fortunately, the money's quite good, and also we can study, is that right? Ishikawa, do you send money home? No. So does that mean that you spend it all here? I don't. Mom said we must save it up for the war effort. This is a nice place. It's similar to my home in Chiba. Come on, Chiba's not this cold. This place is just like a hospital. No, I don't think so. A hospital should have patients, but we only have dead bodies. This place is more like a medical school. No, I don't think so. Medical schools don't have soldiers everywhere, and they're not heavily guarded like this. I don't care what you think. It's okay by me. I eat well, and they pay me a lot of money. The only problem is that fat Sergeant Kawasaki. He's too much. He's always looking for trouble. Look! Isn't that Hoshino's ball? Huh? Let's get it back! Come on! Yeah!
But she knows ball wasn't like this. Who are you? And what are you doing here? He must be a mute. Are you okay? <laughs> Sir! What's wrong with you? He's been here for over a month, but he still hasn't managed to adjust, sir. He vomits every time he comes and works on these experiments. And when he gets like this, we have no alternative but to let him take a break. <laughs> I think, sir, it'll take him a while to get used to this. Don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll soon get used to it. His job is very important. We rely on the colors to determine the results of these experiments. As you know, we can't just depend on black and white pictures. So take care of him and get him back to work. Sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir. I'm sorry, sir. I've been transferred to the Southern Front by direct order of the Kwantung Army Commander. Congratulations. The situation in the South is very serious. I think that a patriotic soldier like yourself should be able to achieve great things, especially as you have such a close relationship with the General HQ. That's good. You should sacrifice yourself. Sir! I suppose that this was all you're doing. Sir. This Maruta has been injected with bubonic plague three times. But still no symptoms have appeared, so we've decided to conduct a live dissection on him. That's good. To collect accurate data, we're dependent on continuous experimentation. So all the Maruta that we use, not only do they have to be alive, but they have to be fit and in good general condition. Experimenting on live subjects is a rare chance. Sir. <laughs> Uh, all right, so what is that? That is a man, sir. Oh. You tell me what that is. He is a Chinese man. <laughs> you tell me what that is. Sir, he is a very bad Chinese man. <laughs> Take it out. Now remember, that is called a Maruta. It's a log for the fire or for making coffins. It's material for experiments. It is called a Maruta. Now tell me what it is. Maruta, sir. I can't hear what you're saying. Maruta! Here, tell me what it is. Maruta! 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 All right, what is this? We must do all we can to collect evidence, and then get it out of here. The outside world must know what's going on in here. This is the only thing we can do now. Get it! Listen, why go through all that trouble? We have no chance of getting out of here alive. You damn rabbit! You have no backbone! And you too! Stand up like a man! Don't copy this chicken! He's a disgrace to the Chinese! Order arms. Ah, 
that is... Now, the lessons on experiments will start tomorrow. So work hard and learn well. Is that clear? Sir! Sir! Come on, let's go. Mm. <gasps> please, sir, please. Please let her take it with her. She thinks that it's her child. General, please. Quickly now, hurry up and get changed. Now hurry up, come on, let's go now. All right then, let's go. This is the Culture Medium Production Room. This is where the bacteria are killed at high temperature. This way, please. Here they're transferring the bacteria. You must learn all this as soon as possible. Sir! Here we're doing a cold injuries test. The Maruta's been at minus 35 degrees for 10 hours. It's 15 degrees now. Mm. 
What you're seeing now is a quick freezing experiment at minus 196 degrees. You must pay attention! Finish chewing your apple. And then I want you to spit it out just like I have. Remember this, don't swallow it. This way you can eliminate germs from your oral cavity. You understand? Sir! All right then, I want you to go tell your sergeant that I'd like you to be my guest this Sunday. And we can all have a drink together. Thank you, sir! Uh, oh, Marita, you're invited too. You want to join us? Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, oh you want to get it. Hey, come on. There you go. No, I got you there. It's all just a question of humanitarianism. Don't you understand? No, this concerns the rise and fall of our great empire. Listen, Nishikawa, they're human beings just like us. They have parents, too. Don't you understand what I'm saying? That's all nonsense! They're prisoners! How can you say that? Oh, gentlemen, come on. This is Sunday. Let's not discuss business here. Come on, let's eat. Okay, everybody, this fruit was brought over specially from Japan. Please help yourselves. Oh, madam, you mustn't carry heavy things. Let me help you. Oh, thank you. Maybe you can tell me the difference between the child that Mrs. Tanamura is going to have and a Maruta's child. What's that? No. You should not have said that. How can you compare we Japanese people to a Maruta? We don't speak the same language. I have nothing more to say to you. I'm sorry, sir. Please excuse me. Ishikawa! Kawasaki pushed him and he fell down the stairs. He hurt his leg. We're going to do something to get back at that pig, Kawasaki, and we want you to do something to help us. As members of the 731 Youth Corps, we should obey our officers. Just forget it. We have to abide by regulations here. You're just a damn coward. Chicken! You got no guts. <laughs> coward! Yeah. Um... 
Those goddamn murderers. What the hell are they up to now? Hey, Specs. What do you think they're going to be doing to us now? Hmm. What was that injection this morning? I've had no reaction at all. I don't know what it was. Why didn't these people get it? Be careful of contamination. The last accident cost Sakagami and Otani their lives. So be careful, everyone. Inject those people first. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> sir, according to the previous test results, it'll be quite difficult to produce a strain of bubonic plague that is more than 60 times as infectious as the standard type. Now we're doing the seventh experiment, and here, here are the results of the mm. last few tests. Mm -hmm. Sir, I heard that the Germans are performing similar kinds of tests using the Jews as subjects, and they've achieved good results. So can't we approach them? Mm. Before the war, Dr. Ishii collected data on this project in Europe for two years. According to him, the German research and experiments in this area are far behind our own. Compared to them, our equipment and facilities are more sophisticated. What they've achieved so far may not be of any use to us at all. Come on now, and don't feel discouraged. You keep up the good work, and report to me at once when the experiments are completed. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I heard that Lieutenant Colonel Nakatomi died in action on the Southern Front. Is that right? Hmm, it's true. Dr. Ishii really shouldn't have gone so far as he did. Mm, I suggest we keep out of that. It's nothing to do with us. You just concentrate on your own career. You know, the medical department is awaiting your return. The future of medicine in Japan is in the hands of people like you. Oh. So, in other words, the success of the 731 decides the survival of the Empire, so today we really should harbor no more illusions about the Kwangtung Army. The Kwangtung Army, other than relying on our bacterial warfare, has no other way of winning the war. I've always believed that chemical and biological weapons are a far more effective way of waging war than bombs and guns, and right now, we must regroup and mobilize our forces. So, gentlemen, I must entreat you to work doubly hard in order that we can win final victory. We have to get ourselves well prepared for the coming bacterial war offensive. Gentlemen, please speak up if you have any questions. Uh, please, go ahead. We have managed to successfully produce a mutated plague bacteria which is 60 times more lethal than the norm. 
The amount we have cultivated, according to our calculations, sir, is virulent enough to wipe out all of mankind. At the same time, we have increased the number of mutated plague-infected rats to three million. We've also produced 300 kilograms of fleas. This is equivalent to about one billion fleas. If one billion of these plague-infected fleas were all released simultaneously, it's not hard to imagine the situation on the war front would be drastically changed. We'd be assured that the empire would win the war. Our bacterial weapons are crucial. The fate of the Japanese empire lies in our hands. It's up to us. One thing, it's being proved that the metal casing holding the fleas gets very hot during the firing and the majority of the fleas inside get killed. Consequently, these bacterial bombs have failed to produce the results that we expected. It's proved to be quite a difficult problem. Weapons department. Does anyone have any other questions? Sir, there's been a strong reaction to Kawasaki's abuses of the youth corps. It's getting quite serious. There is a lot of tension and unrest among members of the corps. Transfer Kawasaki immediately out of the youth corps. Oh no, I want you to replace him. Sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Please enjoy the fruit. <gasps> Seems your sword's not rusted yet. <gasps> Out, you two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Those who've been hit or touched by the fragments, put your hands up! <sighs> Gentlemen, this thing is my latest invention, and I've called it 
the low temperature porcelain bacterial bomb. To the Empire! Banzai! Be careful, don't break them! Take off your clothes. Kawasaki. Hmm? I want you to find me a healthy young fellow. Do you think you can do that? A healthy young fellow? What do you need that for? We know that's not much use to you, but it's very important for us, you know. Come on, now, you can find us a healthy man. Kawasaki, if you can help us find a healthy young guy for this experiment, then I'll buy you a few drinks. Oh, yeah, we'll all buy you a drink. How about that? Don't worry about it. Kawasaki's good at that. I'm sorry, I can't help you with this. You'll have to find one. Oh, he means he's only good at finding young women. Oh, that's nonsense! <laughs> hey, Kawasaki, really, help us out on this. You can do it. Come on, give us a hand. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Please let my daughter go. I'll do, everything. I'll do whatever you want. It doesn't matter about me, but let my daughter go. Please, please let my daughter go. She's so young. Please let her go. She's, she didn't do anything. I'll do anything you want. Anything at all. Anything. But let my daughter go. My daughter. Please let her go. You, you can do whatever you want with me. Let her go. Please let her go. I beg you. I beg you. Please. 
been here a while. Are you used to it? Yes, I am, sir. Oh, good. Army life is like that. You know how things are, my boy. Uh, by the way, are you still seeing that Chinese mute? No, sir, not often. Why do you ask? Oh, well, I just wondered if you could find him for me. That's all. Here's the mute that you asked me to bring the other day. Thank you. Well done. Now, come on. Uh, 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 go with him. I'll look after Eat. you. Now, don't worry. Now, come with me. Come on. That is. Bring him in now. Sir. Hey, hey. Come on. Come here. Come, come, come. Now, you go in there. Understand? Ishikawa, you wait here. You can take him back again. Only when his surgery is finished. What surgery? Be quiet. No more questions. It's not your business. Keep out of it. Sir. Come here. Go on. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Ishigawa, where are you going? The surgery's finished. You can take him away. Yes, sir. Are you all satisfied? <laughs> well, then, you have now got the heart, and you've got the liver, and you've got the brain that you needed. All these organs from a living boy in puberty are difficult to come by. That was very successful. And thanks to Kawasaki. <laughs> My pleasure. We'll buy you a drink this evening. How about that? Huh? Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ishikawa, what's wrong? Now take the card away. Sir. Draw the curtains, okay? Oh. That fat ass is a bastard. He's a real animal. Yeah. Hey! Mm -hmm. That mute wasn't a Maruda, so why'd he kill him? I really despise him. Yeah, I can't stand him either. Right. Well, let's think of a way to fix him. Yeah. Is she? I want to kill him. If there's any problem, I'll take the responsibility. No, we're in this together. Yeah. 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 Come on, hurry up. Now get ready for disinfection. think you're doing? Get back!
Small rat can beat a cat. Fleas and germs can defeat bombers and guns. And this is the basic theory behind 731. And it's also my philosophy. For victory, we must take the strongest and groom them. And the same philosophy should apply to the 731 Squadron Youth Corps. Do you understand that, Sergeant? Sir! <laughs> Let's get out of here alive. No matter what happens, we must get the evidence out. Stoney! Quick! Let him go! You bastard, your head is still in the sand! Stoney will never get out your way! He'll only get killed if he goes out your way. Doors open! Come on! Idiot. Many Marusha are dead. This is a serious matter. You know that your job is to keep them healthy so they can survive longer. But you've neglected your duty with serious consequences. This is intolerable. Do you understand that? It's unforgivable. All our Maruta are precious experimental material. Today, they mean more than ever before. You had no right to kill any of them. The Russo-Japanese war will soon be upon us. But still, some of our tests are not yet conclusive. 731 Squadron is our last hope. We have the power to turn the war in our favor and save the Empire. All right, get up. <laughs> I hope you won't forget, all of you were brought here by me from Chiba. You are the core of 731 Squadron. Tanamura. The Anda Rural Station is preparing for the final porcelain bomb test soon. They'll need Maruta. So have you sent them off yet? Yes, sir. They left very early this morning. What you did was very stupid. We can't get out anyway. The more we resist, the quicker we'll get killed. He said that we must try to get the evidence out of here. 
That's all we can do. We must let the world know about this hellhole. That's the only way we have of getting back at these bastards. Dr. Ishii, I'm told we're running out of time. The situation on the battlefront is very bad. Looks like the final battle's coming. This trip to Feng Tian is extremely important, so you mustn't worry about things here. Thank you. Good luck. General Kikuchi, I rely on you to look after things. <laughs> Sir! Call the Air Corps. They can go. The target site is ready. All right. I'm sorry, sir, but we haven't got through to them yet. Oh, I see. All right, keep trying. Go. Sir. Oh, yes, go ahead and fire the signal. Do it now. Yes, sir. We need the Maruta urgently, all right? I just want to know from you whether they're on their way or not. Excuse me, sir. Sir, urgent telegram. Thank you. August 9th, Nagasaki was bombed. The Russians have declared war. Manchu 731 Squadron retreat independently. We must get Dr. Ishii back here at once. Yes, sir. Hello, cancel the Maruda. Airfield, come in, Airfield. Airfield, Airfield, come in, Airfield, come in. Give me that. Airfield, come in. Come in, Airfield. <laughs> sir, the Marudas are trying to escape. There, look. We can't let any of them get away! Get in the car! After them! Quick! Split up! Spread out! Run! Quickly! Oh! Huh. 
Two. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to disturb you. Sir. Sir, an urgent telegram from the High Command. The Russians have declared war. Nagasaki was bombed. Now the High Command has ordered all troops to retreat independently. What do you think, sir? We feel you should come back. The Russians have declared war on us? All troops to organize retreat? Sir, what do we do? Gentlemen, we have received a telegram saying that the Americans have bombed Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It seems that both cities have been completely destroyed. And also the Russians have declared war. I'm afraid to say that our fate is sealed. We've received orders from High Command to retreat. But I personally think that the work of 731 Squadron involves highly classified information. So now I'm requesting the following from you. Firstly, we must exterminate all remaining Maruta. Every facility in this compound must be destroyed. Nothing is to remain. The engineers will be in charge of this job. Second, all buildings must be razed to the ground. I want nothing left. Third, collect all data and documents. I want them all destroyed at once. Nothing is to remain at all. Fourth, the youth corps retreats to Tonghua. Fifth, all units commit suicide. Also, families and dependents will commit suicide as well. In other words, everything must be destroyed. No evidence must be left behind. Doctor, this squadron consists of some very highly qualified people. It seems such a waste to order them to die. Really, there's no need for such meaningless sacrifices. I'm fully aware of that, General. But we have got to ensure the secrecy of this facility. Excuse me, Doctor. If you commit suicide, then we'll join you. Dr. Ishii, these soldiers and their families too have followed you all the way from Japan to Manchuria. So it's your duty to at least try and get them home. That's reasonable. As head of the 731, you're responsible for them. You should be concerned for their welfare. You can't just simply order your subordinates to commit suicide. I hope, Dr. Ishii, you'll see just where your responsibility is. The General is right. We should all return to our homeland and bring our data with us.
It may be possible, but still we must be prepared in case we're captured. No matter what happens, the results of our experiments must not fall into the enemy's hands. In that case, we each carry a bottle of cyanide, then. If we're captured, all right, we die. All right, then, that's what we'll do. Go ahead and arrange it. I will personally direct the retreat, and I'll arrange for the transport. I'm very happy. I think you've made the right decision. I'm sure everybody will be grateful to you. children's clothes. The data is more important. <laughs> Please keep this with you at all times. It is the Commandant's order. If you're captured, you must swallow it. Well, it was prepared by your husband. It's so late. Where are you going at this hour? I'm going to get more data. Oh, come on, my dear. The war is over. We're going home. I don't understand why you want to take this. Be quiet. What do you know? All right. It's true I may not know much about anything, but at least I know that now we're going home. You're a woman and you know nothing at all. I agree. A woman doesn't know anything, and she certainly doesn't know how to make poison. Enough! How dare you speak to me like that? Don't go! Don't go yet, please! Stop that! What do you think you're doing? This is important data. You can't burn it. Damn it! Stop right now or I'll shoot you! Stop it! Don't shoot! We're going home now. Nothing else matters. Get out of here! <laughs> I just want us to go home. I just want to go home. Stop it! You burn any more and I'll shoot you down. I'm not making idle threats. Burn it all. Sir! Listen. This is an order. You must burn it all. Nothing must be left behind. <laughs> Sir, we can't destroy this. This is our whole reason for being here. It represents years of hard work. To amass this data, we've all had to sacrifice a great deal. And, sir, Japan will need it one day. If you wish to destroy it, then kill me first. Thank you very much, sir. We're releasing the poison gas. Hurry and clear the area. Go. Mickey, come here. Hey, Mickey, let's go. Worth money. Take some more. Yeah. 
Hey! Look at that right angle. Hurry up! Hey, get up! We're gonna blow it! Where do you think you're going? Go back. I'm sorry. Go on. Cleared according to schedule, sir. Thank you.
Mrs. Tanamura. <laughs> Can you hold on? Mrs. Tanamura, are you all right? <laughs> Sir, oh, Mrs. Tanamura is going into labor. Can she ride in the car? Is that possible? Uh, the car's full. The doctor needs his things. No, she can't. Doctor, well, uh, the train is leaving in another five minutes. Would you like to address the men? Yes, I would. Well, gentlemen, I can tell you, this is not the end. The Japanese Empire has not yet been defeated. Our base may have been destroyed, but our work will continue, I know. We're now going home. I trust all of you will realize the secret nature of this base has got to be safeguarded at all times. No contact between squadron members is allowed. Furthermore, under no circumstances will you reveal the nature of your work here. And also, you are disbarred from taking up government posts. If any one of you contravenes any of these conditions, you will be severely punished. I hope that's clear. Marita, who's that? Who is he? He's not one of us. Who is he? I... I don't know who he is. That's a Maruta!
Man Behind the Sun, a chilling movie which lays bare the most inhumane and horrifying scandal in the history of mankind. The true story of the use of live prisoners in grisly medical experiments conducted by Japanese scientists in search of biological weapons during World War II. This film is based on information kept a closely guarded secret for more than one generation.